been into a call over here on Osceola. Apparently a man has broken into a woman's shed. Five, five, dispatch on 97. Uh, being advised to say that the neighbor is coming up with the vessel. Tim. Who's the uh, owner of the residence? All right, perfect. Thank you, guys. How are you guys doing? All right. How are you doing, ma'am? They have thrown some people that were that broke into this house out before, and caught. Okay. Well, yes, ma'am. My name is Linda. How are you doing, ma'am? Officer Githens, how can I help you today? OK. This young man says that he's been here for two years li living on, on this property. Yes, ma'am. And that he had permission to live here. All right. We didn't give anybody any permission to live here. OK. And I have been back for up here, like doing the pre to check on this property. That place has been boarded up, but I have to go back and get you my paperwork. No, no, you're fine. I'm not worried about that. We can look up on Leon County and find out yeah. the exact verbiage called, and all that. Yes, ma'am. Because you called me. Would you like him trespass from the property so you don't have to worry about him coming back in? If he comes back in, then we can arrest him for trespassing after warning? Yeah. Okay. That's and that's not a residence. That's a shed. It's a utility <laughs> shed. Doesn't have electric, plumbing, or water, so he's got to be using that elsewhere. So it's your thank property. God the, thank God for the rain. Well, I would imagine so. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yeah, if you could just grab your license, I'm going to check the condition of the shed and see how much stuff we're looking at moving. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. We'll work on that. What's up, bud? Do you have a middle name, yes or no? R. R? OK. That's it. That's simple, right? I'm looking around trying to determine if someone could live here or if it's just a place where people are coming and throwing clothes and using drugs and having sex. There's a clown, wig, batteries. This more looks like a place to come hook up and get out of the rain other than residential housing. Here's the deal. You're on someone else's property. You found a spot that you can get out of the rain and out of the weather, right? And you're using that. I understand this. But if you step back on the property, you'll be arrested for trespass after warning. You have no rights or legal aspect to this property. Okay. Well, I have a whole lot of stuff in here. Yeah, well, we need to get you moving it, sir. Because here's what I don't want. I don't want you to leave here today and get trespassed from this property. And then when you come back, all your stuff is in the trash because they're going to. All my stuff's in the trash. I got my. I Listen, got sir. Real what real I'm saying is they're going to clean this up and throw everything that's in there away. So if you want your property, you need to get it now before they get it tossed in the trash. He says he's been living there for two years and had permission from whoever was renting the property. The owner of the house has been coming by doing spot checks on it and has realized that someone has moved in and caused damage to her property. Uh, when she came today, she found him inside the property and asked him to leave. And he refused to leave. So now we're actually having him get out of the shed because it is not a residence, so it's not an eviction issue. So he's moving his possessions out too the street or the corner's edge. And once he's off the property, if he returns, he'll be arrested for trespassing after warning.